More or less the same trip uh, that I did a few months ago solo. So that's Exumas. Georgetown is somewhere there. As you can see the monument. And yeah, so this time we took a different route just to show you the difference between Thorny Path and I-64, I-65. But we're not going to do the the I-65 100% because look at this. We are actually going to do that downwind most of the time. We have the code D out. Pietro is somewhere there. <laughs> so definitely not a solo attempt. So this time it's going to be much more happiness. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietro. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Looks like this is going to be a very different route. So I got now predict wind here and all the different models are there. Um, currently I'm here on Spire. So if we just check the first, you can see the we're going basically downwind. And hence the code D. And then as we round Long Island, we can see the, 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 the blow, there's a blow coming and we're going to use the blow basically to go around and this is also kind of like downwind. I think we will even be able to do the code, zero, the code D on the same angle and yeah so I mean, ooh, that's Turks and Caicos. So we will get there while there's still the blow is still going on. Um, I'm not sure we're going, yeah, maybe we will go that route. I will tell you now why. Um, oh, I can maybe show you now. There's some, there's some banks here that we're going to avoid anyway. So we're going to do the, the route of Spire and somewhere around there it's going to die. You see there is no more wind, no more wind and then some wind again and then we at Puerto Rico. So this is a minor passage. I think this might cause a little bit of an issue for most of the people because the current is going up and the wind is going to come down. So we're just going to try and go closer to the Puerto Rico coast and avoid this, the, the current that's coming up here. So right here is the current coming up. I think that's the one in there. Oh, it says gust. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Pietro is a good luck charm here. Because <laughs> this time it's going to be much more... You can sleep this time. <laughs> I can sleep for I can sleep for three hours, yeah. <laughs> uh, much longer than twenty minutes or something like that. So it's going to be great, and I must say the start is perfect. Sea state is beautiful, and we have a body boat. Uh, there you go. There's a cage. So it's a uh, Amel, a little bit bigger than Delos. So it is bungee time again. Current wind is like five to seven knots, so we're going pretty slow. But there's a huge front coming there, which is our wind that we need to go down. But we want to try and pass that corner first, Long Island. So hopefully, it doesn't pass before us because we need that to shoot down. But with the slow winds, the sailors all over the place. So hopefully when the wind picks up there won't be so much shaking and shuffling going on. Yeah, but that is the bungees doing its job. 
and obviously with a stand-up board being strapped to the side of the boat it causes some problems but the captain made a plan so the lines don't chafe up and down so our speed should pick up soon still got two hours to go so Mm, I think that might just pass before us, but there's another front there. So hopefully we can fall in line with that one, but we've got some speed and winds. We managed now to sail for almost two hours wing on wing. The wind went more south, come, came from a more southerly direction and anticipated or actually predicted. But I think this, this cold front is now coming and the wind is turning now more like this so every now and then you will see the Genoa is not happy but well we take it it was an hour and a half almost two hours and the Genoa is on a, on a midship cleat so we need to be ready if this one is coming and the wind is going to flip Hopefully we will be just, you see, I'm not sure you guys can see, but that's Calabash, the resort. So we are at the, at the very, very point of Long Island. <laughs> it might be that we, that we will not, we will not be able to stay. You see over there is the point. This is coming, maybe just 10 minutes too early, <laughs> 10 minutes, so we will check this, but only thing that will happen is like, oh, it's like this, it will just fold, and we need to, need to fill it, oh, you see, like this, hmm. and our body boat is still over there, the catch, so they're keeping up. That is Knowles and Jeff on a cage called Onyx. managed to turn the corner and we now 180 uh, the wind vane is set for 170 so I want to push us down south as more as possible but <laughs> and the thing is the wind is going to turn, change around three o'clock tomorrow morning so either we we need to drop the the Genoa and jive the code D and then tomorrow morning 3 o'clock jive the code D again which is maybe not a bad idea um, yeah but yeah, we need to go according to that little dotted line which is 400 nautical miles from here so four days at the current VMG of 3.9 we're doing six and because we're going that direction and we should go that direction 
our VNG is very low. Uh, decisions, decisions. It's not a problem, it's just all these, all the bungee cords needs to be taken down and then put back on again. So that is actually the big problem. It's all the effort that goes into setting up the dip, the bungees. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's more than 12 hours. It's like 14 hours still before we have to drive. Three hours. Tomorrow morning, oh, three o'clock. Oh, it's only one o'clock now. It's only one o'clock. Okay, yeah. let's drive. Yes. So I'm going to undo the bungee cords. Well, actually, I will do first the, the barber roller, and Pietro can then fold the, the Genoa. And then I will do the bungee cords over here and then get this big sail ready for jibe. You guys want to see how we jibe a big sail? Hmm. Okay, let us see what we can do. First, I need to make sure the sail is as far as forward possible. Okay, ready, steady. Eat spaghetti. Eat spaghetti. Okay, so I'm going to let this one go as much as possible. Okay, and that's it. Go on to our course. Start turning. There we go. Well done, Captain. We got a moi! Yay! It looks like a male, that head is very wide. It's a big one. So, so we let him, let's see who tire him out. Oof, it's feisty. Oh, stay, 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 stay. We managed to drop the Cody. We had a problem with the Cody. We couldn't fill it. Oh, we tried to fill it and then the furler line got stuck. Um, got all tangled up there in front of the on the furler itself. And we couldn't drop it, so <laughs> we had to stay all night with a lot of wind. Okay, so our buddy boat just called us on the radio and they said, and they how far behind us? Five miles. Five miles, and they just said they had a gust come through 38, 40 knots. And we have the big code D out, so the captain is at the ready. And we also go dead downwind at this moment. That's the advantage of having a buddy boat behind you. <laughs> <and> <laughs> yeah. Good, and good we, just, we just started the engines because our batteries is also very low, but um, that can help us actually. Pretty nerve-wracking. <laughs> and, it's, and it's not like it's like dark stormy clouds or wind or anything. Oh, there's no telltales in the clouds. In the clouds, nothing. So it's now 20 again and goes between 20 and 26 at this moment. So we are on wind vane 180, so it's dead downwind. So we are actually surfing as well. Um, so that is through wind speed 24. Oh. 25 and then goes down a little bit. So I'm also looking at the apparent wind. So you can see the apparent wind is, is on this one here. So that one is the load on the sail itself. Good 
with the engines on 2000 drives each because we just did all the way up to this one went all the way up to 29 and that one went to 19 um, and our boat speed went up all the way to 10 so that was that was close that was very close like now oi, 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 oi. I'm going to end up well for this dude. Look what a mess. Checking up on the fishing lines. There's no grass, no fish. But check the sun, sunrise. Such a very vast difference between a thorny path. <laughs> and it's not really the i-65 but let's say the i-65 direction so what is this i-65 that frick is talking about well basically not the thorny path which is not recommended but the i-65 definitely is we got it kind of like lucky but normally the wind is coming from say from the east definitely but more from a southerly direction than straight from the east and because it's coming now from the east and a little bit up it's easier to start from Bahamas and you just tack up north and by tacking up north and the wind is a little bit south you get a better angle to go almost east but you don't go really east you go a little bit up north and you just go into the Atlantic until you reach the, the 65 longitude and if you reach the longitude then you start going down and the wind is nice on a beam and you can get to like here Bahamas, USVI, even Antigua, uh, the Windward Islands so that is the, the preferred route and what also many of the people is doing now we are on the, the to know up because there's some wind predicted less wind than we had that night but yeah we saw that night lots of high speed surfing but this is the sea state so much easier if you have the wind from behind and also the waves from behind but the sea is much more, how can I say, much more steady this morning. Uh, the wind actually changed the last two days all the way from there, there, there to about there now. And because it was changing so much, the waves was also changing every single time. So there's a lot of uncomfortable waves that's coming but it was a little bit calm yesterday we had to actually put the engines on yesterday and now the wind started come that way and it just came more more wind speed and the waves is now nice and steady all from that direction so this is also having just this nice gentle rock so much different than a thorny path but also this is a pretty good weather window I think the noise that I'm hearing is our new VH, uh, VHF cable that I put in it's not inside the harness <laughs> 